Hello everyone, uh, so this video is sort of just going to be about stuff that I have either shown briefly or haven't really shown at all, but I have either started or completed them. And uh, first off, I want to start with the F-86 Sabre. Uh, this saw action in Korea and the Sabre and the MiG were uh, my favorite jet aircraft just because I love the way that they uh, they look and everything. Uh, and this one still has the fishing line on it because I used to have it on a display. Uh, but I took it off and used the display for the Leclerc Lick. So. There's that. Uh, anyways, so I painted this up to be all chrome, and uh, this is not a decal, this is not a decal, this is a decal. I don't understand why they didn't that way, but whatever. And uh, so yeah, now I just realized part of this decal chipped, oh well, that's fine. Uh, gives it more of a worn look to it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the F-86 Sabre. Uh, I just like the way these aircraft look. Uh, I, I really don't know what else to say about it, besides the fact that I love the design of this thing. Uh, can't remember exactly when I got this. It was a while ago. Uh, I eventually want to get the, uh, Shooting Star, which was also used, uh, but isn't as commonly known as the Sabre. And I want to paint it up to look similar. And next, I remember I did sort of a box review of this thing. Uh, the SR-71 Blackbird. But I can't remember if I ever did a video where I showed the finished model of it, because I did finish it. Uh, so, let me get that. <clears throat> First off, it came with a little drone, which is cool. I It reminds me of a certain spaceship, but I can't quite place what movie it's from. Uh, but yeah, this is the little drone it has. And I, it comes with a cart. I still haven't finished that because I don't really want to. And uh, this is painted up to look all dirty. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's painted up to look all dirty. Uh, that's not actual dirt <clears throat> or dust or anything. But however, on this one, it is dusty. I don't know if you can, it doesn't look like it's picking it up on the camera, but I can guarantee you it's dusty. Uh, this is the actual SR-71 uh, Blackbird, 172nd scale, I believe. Uh, let me just check that actually. Yeah, 170 seconds scale. Uh, man, this really is dusty. Anyways, I got this for a birthday present, I believe. I don't remember. That's sad. Uh, there's a slight problem. This thing likes to bend a lot and. Well, I guess that's true of any piece that's. Oh, crap, I just did it again. It's true of any piece that's like that, and. They're frankly pain. Um. I had trouble with one of the wings, so one of the wings is sort of more. laid down than the other, I guess you would say. It's more angled. There we go. Than the other wing. Uh. Other than that, it's. You know, and uh, like I've said in previous videos, I like to have the gear down because I like the way they look when they're flying instead of with the gear down. And the problem with having the gear down on this one is the front gear, they're way oversized, so it had a problem sticking together. So they're sort of uh, in the aircraft, they're not actually, it's not sleek. That's the only part of it that I hate because it messed up there. Um, so, besides putting a uh, 
sort of dust layer on of it on it because these typically took off in the desert at least from what I've read and seen they took off from the desert so I was gonna add desert paint to it man this is dusty uh, but I don't know when I'll do that or if I'll ever do get to doing that because I'm just busy with a whole bunch of other stuff but yeah I just love the way these SR71s look uh, all right I know I have shown the USS Arizona before and this is quite a big thing but I'll try to get it in the shot anyways <clears throat> this is one four hundred and twenty sixth scale uh, and pretty much all I've done is paint the hull of it and oops anyways. get out of there we go painted the hull of it it's not finished and it's not the prettiest thing ever uh, what I really want to do is uh, I want to make a mock-up of it, what it looks like now. Uh, sort of do like a memorial thing for it. And then place it uh, right next to uh, my uh, flag that uh, actually flew over the Arizona on December 7th, 2013. Uh, that would be cool. Or if I do a good enough job, uh, I actually would like to give it to the Pearl Harbor Memorial Museum. That would be also pretty cool. So, I have hopes for that one. At least. Uh, now I know, I don't think I've ever shown you guys this. The Huey Hog. Biggest pain in the ass I've ever put together. And uh, I haven't even finished it. I do not like the way it looks uh, at all. And let me just get that for you real quick. Uh, I was gonna make it look all like a Navy helicopter, and I just screwed that up, and there's something stuck to it. Huh? There we go. Nope. I think it just broke it. Anyways. There it is. The Huey Hawk, I was trying to make it look like a Navy uh, Huey. Because I like the way those look. Uh, I had big problems with the clear plastic and the guns and the bullets. Actually, I had a whole problem with the entire thing. And, yeah, so this is as far as I got. And then I simply quit. This is actually the second time I painted it. The first time I painted it to look like a mili uh, military, duh, stupid. Ah, uh, a army helicopter, and that didn't work at all. So I then painted it to look like a navy helicopter, and I still don't like the way it looks. So, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, or if I'm going to do anything else with it, or just use it as sort of a scrap plane uh, the funny part is, is I don't think I don't think I can show you guys but the pilot on the left uh, let's see or no yeah pilot on the right I mean sorry the pilot on the right I tried to make look like uh, Maverick from Top Gun uh, even though I know he didn't fly a helicopter just to be you know just to have that. Uh, anyways, so next thing is the only car model I have ever owned. And this was also a gift. Uh, hence why I haven't done much with it. Uh, I have indeed painted part of this. I was going to make it sort of a rusty red and then gave up on that halfway through. And that's Besides cutting the tires off and putting the chrome pieces in the tire, uh, that's pretty much everything that I have done with this. In fact, that's that's the only thing I've done with this. I just don't find building 
cars that fun. It's a personal thing. I just don't find it as fun as planes and ships and tanks. Uh, and last but not least, the twin Mustang. This was also a gift, by the way, uh, by my uncle. He lives in Alaska, and he finds some strange stuff to send me for model kits, and it's pretty cool, because I haven't seen the twin Mustang down here, or, uh, well, I haven't seen most of the stuff down here that he sends me. Uh, and one of these props is stuck. Oh, well. Anyways, this is what I've done on the Twin Mustang. It's 170 second scale. It's out of scale of most of my prop planes and planes in general. Uh, this, I believe, was a... Th they actually made one of these, or maybe several. But they, I know that they flew them and they made them. They never saw combat, really, except for maybe in the early stages of Korea. I can't remember. But they actually did indeed fly these. Uh, I can't remember, one was a co-pilot and a navigator, and then one of them was just a pilot and, uh, something like that. He was a pilot, a navigator, a photographer, and a co-pilot. There was something like that, and, uh, anyways. So, they did that. It was more of like a recon attack fighter. Sort of like the, uh, no, not the weasel. Never mind, I don't know what I'm saying. Forget it. Uh, yeah. So, that was, th this is, I'm actually looking forward to finishing this. I just don't know when I'll get to it. And, I believe that is it. I don't quite remember. Anyways, uh... My videos will be getting more exciting soon, I hope, at least for some people. I will soon be doing World of Tanks and War Thunder, and there's one more, I can't remember what it is. Uh, Advanced War Fair thing. No, that doesn't sound right. Anyways, uh, I will be soon doing those. Uh, as soon as I get a better computer with bandy cam and all that kind of fun stuff. Anyways, uh, so that will be coming in March, most likely. And I'll still be doing videos like these. Sort of more exciting, I hope, at least. Um, <clears throat> about what I do and hopefully get more into detail about the aircraft. Uh, so I can actually sound smart and sound like I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, one more thing, the F-15 Eagle, I don't know if I showed y'all last time, still in the early stages of needing to be painted, fixed up, and everything, and I hope everybody had a happy holiday, and I hope they've had a happy new year, and I know I'm kind of late on that, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching, uh, bye.